Hello and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm here with my match preview for Liverpool versus Bournemouth. It's coming live from Anfield tomorrow, Saturday, 3 p.m. I'll be watching it live. Look out for this thumbnail on YouTube and feel free to come in and join me. Everybody is welcome. I'll be watching the game. I'll keep be keeping you up to date um, with scores, uh, fouls, offsides, anything that happens, I will keep you up to date. As for this video, I'm going to give you my predictions, how I think the game is going to go. I'll give you a score prediction, and I'll also give you a lineup prediction. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. So before I do all of that, please, if you haven't already, leave a like on my video if you are enjoying the content, and also whack that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers before the end of the season, and I really appreciate every single person who has done that so far. Please, it makes a massive difference to help me grow my channel. So now let's get into my preview, how I think the game's going to go. I've just been watching the last year's highlights because we actually played Bournemouth three times last year. I'll get to that. Um, and also just been looking up their form for this season so far, what they've done. So with four games in, they are currently 11th in the league with five points. That's one win, two draws and one loss. Last time out, it was a 1-0 home defeat against Chelsea. And last season, the head-to-head -head with Liverpool, like I said, we played them three times. We played them in the Carabao Cup, um, sort of last October, November time. Um, and that was a 2-1 win. Obviously, we went on to win the, the Carabao Cup. Um, that was the game Gakpo scored, Bournemouth equalised, and then Nunes scored that really stunning goal where he miscontrolled it and the Bournemouth fans cheered because he miscontrolled it. And then he scored that stunner from just, just inside the penalty area, sort of looped over the keeper. And then went and celebrated in front of the Bournemouth fans. Quite funny. That's what you might remember that game for. And then in the league, we beat them 4-0 away from home. That was a Jota and a Nunes brace um, in that game to win 4-0. And then in the home fixture, it was a 3-1 win. Um, Semenyo opened up the score and for Bournemouth. And then Liverpool came back. It was during it was early on in the season. It was during that run where we like to concede early and then go on and win 3-1. I think it was like three or four games in a row. We won 3-1 by going a goal down. Um, so yeah, Semenyo opened the scoring for Bournemouth, then Diaz, Salah and Jota with our three goals. And that's how it went last season. Um, what I think of the game, well, the games last season, Bournemouth were quite formidable last season. They were a very decent team. Uh, the, the manager, Iriola, done a really good job with them. It hasn't worked out so well so far this season, but it's only early four games. Um, only one loss. It's not too bad. It's the same as Liverpool. We've got one loss. Um, yeah, I, I expect them being very similar. I, I expect them to be a tough opponent. Um, we, we were sort of lucky last season. The 4-0 win at Bournemouth, all those goals came in the second half. We weren't really at the races in the first half. Um so yeah, I see the same thing happening again. I can see them being stubborn. And if they go and put on a performance like Forrest, if they're stubborn and then just try to catch us on the break, it could pay out for them. It did pay out for Forrest. They did beat us 1-0 in the last game out. Um, then, of course, we had that nice reaction win against AC Milan. That was a good performance from Liverpool. There was good performances all over the pitch, the likes of Canate, Gravenberg brilliant performance so i'm hoping we'll see more of that and more of a reaction in the league as well because we do need to be building these points i know it's early but we can't keep losing games and dropping points so hopefully that's how i see it happening um i see liverpool putting on another good performance i, I can't see them putting in another bad performance if we do i'll be pulling my hair out live on stream um so with all that said i'm going to get into my score prediction and I'm going to go with the same as last year. I'm going to go with a 3-1 for Liverpool. Um, it tends to not be great when I predict 3-1. Like, we lose against Forrest, 1-0. But yeah, I'm going to go with 3-1. I'm confident. I, th I think there'll be a, a couple of changes in the lineup. I'll get to that in a little while. So I'm hoping the likes of players coming in, they'll be wanting to, you know, mark their name, try and get themselves on the first team sheet. So I'm thinking 3-1, and hopefully it happens, but we'll see. So now let's get into my lineup prediction. I'll put it up on the, the screen right here so you can see it. 
So in between the sticks, I have gone with Kelleher. There is news circulating at the moment that Allison has injured his hamstring somehow, not supposedly severely, and it all depends on whether he was training or not today, whether he would be in contention for the match. So with that bit of uncertainty, and I hope the the coaches and everything and the physios will err on the side of caution when it comes to Allison. So I'm thinking it'll be a first league start for Kelleher this season and an able deputy. We know what he is, what he's capable of, the performances, the saves he's made. He saved us even on the way to the Carabao Cup final and the win against Chelsea. There was massive saves in that. He's a very able keeper and a very good second choice. Then in defence, of course, I've gone with Robertson and Trent at the, the fullbacks. Really not a fan of Simicast. Was largely at fault for the goal against AC Milan. Did grow into the game and did get himself an assist. But it's time and time again, Simicast is just frustrating to watch. I mean, his, his heart seems to be in the right place. I just, I don't know why Robertson wasn't starting against AC Milan Champions League. You want your best left back there possibly to rest Robertson for the league. And so Robertson comes back in for me. Centre-back partnership, again, Van Dijk, Canate. I don't see that changing at all, barring injuries. Then into midfield, again, slot doesn't seem to be favouring Endo at the moment. I mean, Klopp did have a big emphasis on him last, last season, um, and we did see quite a lot of good performances from him. He did sort of fade off as though he was a bit fatigued towards the end of the season but still a good midfielder, but I just don't see him starting under slot, not at the moment anyway. So the midfield's going to be the same. It's going to be McAllister and Gravenberg in the double pivot, Soboslai just in front. Then um, either wing, of course, Salah and Diaz starts. I think that's Diaz was dropped to be rested. So Diaz will definitely be coming back for this game. Salah is always going to start, barring injuries or AFCON, he's always going to be starting. And then I've gone with Nunes. Um, I've liked what I've seen from Nunes so far. Jota's also missed a couple of, I wouldn't say easy, but he's missed a couple of chances. And it's just not clicking for him at the moment. I did say that in my last preview video. So I can see him just being dropped and giving Nunes a chance. And yeah, hopefully that's what I said earlier. Hopefully that'll, Nunes will take this chance and go and bag some goals. He does seem to like scoring against Bournemouth. He did score three against them last season. Hopefully he can continue that form. And that is my lineup in full. That is Kelleher, Robertson, Van Dyke, Kanate, Trent, McAllister, Gravenberg, Diaz, Soboslai, Salah, and then up top, Nunes. And guys, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like on the video. Also hit that subscribe button. Let me know as well in the comments if you think I've gone wrong or maybe I'm looking too much into the Kelleher situation if you think Allison's going to be starting anything start a discussion with me and don't forget to tune in for the live stream tomorrow i'll be live i'll be watching the game come along have a chat with me in a discussion and we'll watch the game together until then up the fucking reds